Hi, I'm Mr Parker and this is question 5 on the OCR Core 2 paper from June 2014. For more questions on this exam paper, click the link here or check in the video description. In question 5 we need to solve the equation 2 to the power of 4x minus 1 equals 3 to the power of 5 minus 2x, giving your answer in the form x equals log base 10 of a over log base 10 of b. So in order to solve this equation, we're going to use some of the log rules on the right hand side here. And it says that log x plus log y equals log xy, log x minus log y equals log x over y, and log x to the power y becomes y log x. So the first thing we're going to do is to take logs of both sides here. So I'm going to get log of 2 to the power 4x minus 1 equals log 3 to the power 5 minus 2x. Notice that I've used base 10 here because it's base 10 in the answer that we're trying to get. And then I'm going to use the power rule for logs, which says that if I've got x to the power of y inside of a log, I can rewrite that as y log x. So on the left hand side, we're going to get 4x minus 1 log 10 of 2. Notice here how I've used brackets for the 4x minus 1. It's because I've got to multiply all of the 4x minus 1 by the log 2. The most common mistake here that people make with these kind of questions is to not use these brackets and only end up with 4x as a term and 1 log 2. On the other side, again, using brackets, I get 5 minus 2x of log 3. And then following this, I'm going to expand out these brackets. So I'm going to get 4x multiplied by log 2 minus 1 of log 2 on the left. And on the right, 5 multiplied by log 3 minus 2x log 3. For the next line, I'm going to get all of the terms involving x onto the left-hand side and all of the terms not involving x onto the right-hand side. So I'm going to keep the 4x log 2 over here. And to get the 2x log 3 onto the other side, I'm going to add it to both sides, meaning it won't be on this side anymore, but on this side it'll be plus 2x log 10 of 3. On the right hand side, I'll still have the 5 log 3, but I'm also going to add log 2 to both sides to get log 2 on this side. At this stage, I'm unable to combine these two logs into a single log. If it was just log 2 plus log 3, I could make it log 6. But because there's a 2x here and a 4x here, I've got a little bit of difficulty doing that at the moment. So in order to be able to deal with these logs, I'm going to have to remove the coefficients from the front of them first. Before I do that though, I'm just going to factorise the left hand side because there's an x in both terms. So I'm going to bring an x outside of some brackets, which means I'm left with 4 log 2 for the first term and 2 log 3 for the second term. On the right hand side, I'm not going to do anything just yet. And then next, so that I'm able to combine these logs, I'm going to bring the coefficient back inside the log. I'm going to use the power law backwards. If we know that y log x is the same as log x to the power y, I can make this first log here log 2 to the power of 4. And that's going to just be 16. So I'll leave my x on the outside. The first log will become log 16. 2 log 3 can be rewritten as log 3 squared, which is log 9. 5 log 3 can be written as log 10, 3 to the power 5. 3 to the power 5 is 243. And we've just got log 2 on this side. For the final line of working, I'm going to do two stages in one. I'm going to combine these logs together, and I'm also going to divide through so that x is on its own over here. To combine the logs on the right hand side, I need to do 243 multiplied by 2, so that becomes 486. And then on the left hand side, I need to do 16 multiplied by 9, which gives me 144. So I get x equals log 10 of 486 divided by log 10 of 144. 